In this presentation, we will learn how to insert a node in between the other nodes. So, let's get started. Let us suppose this is the initial state of the linked list. And our target is to insert a node after the given position. Let us suppose that we need to add a new node after position 2. Our target is to add a new node after position 2. For this purpose, I am assuming here that this is position 1 and this is position 2. And our target is to add a new node over here at this point. Okay. For this purpose, of course, we need a new node and there must be a pointer pointing to this node so that we can reference it. And we need a pointer pointing to the second node of the list. This is important. We need a pointer pointing to this particular node so that we can do the updations. It is important that we keep a pointer over here as well as here. First, we will keep a pointer temp. This particular pointer is initially pointing to this node. Later, it will point to this node. We can do this by putting this piece of code. You can see over here, I have kept one position variable, which is storing this value too. Because we need to add node after position 2. That's why I kept this position variable. And this position variable will help us in moving our temp pointer. The movement of this temp pointer depends upon this position variable, let me tell you. That's why you can see over here in this while loop, I'm checking this condition. Is position not equal to 1? If it is the case, then we can move. Otherwise, we'll get outside of this loop. When position becomes 1, we will get outside of this loop. In this while loop, you can see, I'm moving the temp pointer towards right. And it totally depends on the position variable. Here, position variable is decremented. It is clear from this piece of code that when position variable contains 2, then our temp pointer will move one step forward. If it holds 3, then our temp pointer move two steps forward. And this is very simple to understand. Later, we will keep another pointer so that it can point to this particular node. We should always remember that temp2 will always point to the node given after the node pointed by the temp. That's why here I have written temp2 is equal to temp next. Now you can see over here that temp2 is pointing to this particular node. Now everything is set. We just have to add this node in between these two nodes. And these pointers will help us in doing the same. First, we will update the next part of this particular node using this line of code. Temp next equal to new p. Using this line of code, we would be able to update the next part of this node so that this particular node will point to this node. In order to do this, of course, 4000 must be stored over here because the new node address is 4000. And we can do this by putting this line of code. So, we can replace this address by 4000 and now you can see that this node is pointing to this particular node. Now, we need to update the pref part of this node so that it can point to this node. And again, we need this line of code that is temp to prev equal to new p. You can see over here that this node is now pointing to this node. Now, what next? We need to update the prev part of this node as well as the next part of this node. The prev part of this node must contain this address 2000. And next part of this node must contain this address 3000. For this purpose, I'll keep this line of code so that the prev part will hold this address 2000. And this line of code will help us in putting this address 3000 over here that is in the next part of this node. This is very simple. And that's it. This is all what we need. You can see over here, this is the resultant linked list so obtained. And this is the final function which helps us in adding the node after the given position. That's why I've named it add after pose. This function receives head pointer, data and position. Here you can see three pointers are declared, new p, temp and temp2. We know the meaning of all these pointers. Here you can see I have called add to empty function in order to create a new node. We are already aware about this add to empty function. And to this add to empty function, I'm passing new p as well as data. And the address received from this function will get stored within new p. Now, we are already aware about this piece of code as well as this piece of code. So everything is fine up to this point. And that's all what we need. We also have to consider the case where we need to add a node at the end of the list. Now, this is important because add after post function is not capable of handling the addition of a node at the end of the list. That's why we have to consider that case separately. For this purpose, after this while loop, we will check this condition. If temp next is equal to null, that means if we reach the end node, then temp next must be updated by new p and new p prev that is the prev part of the new node must be updated by temp. 
we must have to update the next part of the last note and prev part of the new note. And of course, in the else part, we will keep this piece of code. And that's all. Now, let me show the complete code in code blocks. Here is the complete code. You can see a struct node has been declared. Add to empty function has been defined. Add at back function has been defined. Add at end function is also here. We have add after post function, which we have already seen. And you can see over here that I have handled this case as well. That is adding the node after the last node. In the main function, you can see over here add after post function has been called. To this function, head has been passed. The value has been passed and position is passed. Position has been initialized to 2, right? Over here. And with this piece of code, we would be able to print all the elements of our linked list. Let me execute this code. You can see over here that 25 has been inserted after position 2. So it is clear that our code is working fine. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.